According to Charles Darwin, organization are a byproduct of the theory of evolution. Its elemental forms have always been present in nature. They have adapted to different climactic contexts with surprising ingenuity, often at the expense of simpler life forms, and have grown by assimilating an almost infinite number of elements into their structure. The great English naturalist noticed that variety is one of the key aspects of organizations. Depending on the variability of specific characters, some are fast or slow, some are bright or dark, and so forth. Recent studies have shown the existence within organizations of a constant fight for survival between organisms in the same species. <coughs> Only the fittest survive. Those who better utilize the resources from a habitat and produce more offspring, transmitting their characters through generations. A peculiar aspect of complex organizations is the habit of its individuals to meet in closed spaces, to escape from adverse weather and gather around bizarre ritualistic areas where they can adore mysterious idols. <laughs> this is coffee. Social life is rather intense during daytime and oscillates between excitement and dynamism. Individuals communicate using complex, pressure-operated tools and self-luminous devices. The discovery of the molecular foundation in genetics has further refined the Darwinist vision, creating a link between the altars guarded by the keepers of the species and the apotropaic talismans usually found around them by anthropologists. A particular interpretation of Neo-Darwinism is that of Richard Dawkins, according to whom the only true basic unit of natural selection is the gene. This view supports the idea that modern organizations are governed by a single individual who wisely use some sort of hereditary power centered around magic and the interaction with the divine. The leader organizes the workload within the group through criteria of justice and equity, fostering collaboration among members of the community. A common conceptual error is to consider evolution as a path for the improvement of the species, thus mistaking the processes of selection and mutation with a mere adaptation to the environment. Just think of those life forms who have evolved and adapted into a parasitic lifestyle. The future of organization probably lies within the devolutionist theory by Italian geneticist Giuseppe Sermonti. According to Sermonti, organized groups will cease to exist in 2024 due to the inevitable decline of the priest leader. Oh, that was fun. Good. In this vision, the common individuals will once again interpret creation as a theological rather than a scientific truth. So, what lies ahead? Could it be a new ontological dependence of all things on the divine?